Welcome! In this tutorial, we'll be going over the Driver, Trailer, and Passenger tabs. As you might already know, we can monitor the unit's location with the help of different devices. We can also monitor drivers, trailers, and passengers the same way. However, such a solution might be quite expensive and illogical because drivers, trailers, and passengers might just duplicate the data of the unit's tracker when they are moving together with the unit. With the help of RFID and iButton technology, we can connect those elements with the units when their location is the same. This method makes working with drivers, trailers, and passengers much easier and cheaper. In general, the process of working with these three modules is essentially the same, but each of them has its own peculiarities which we are going to discuss in this video. Let's start with drivers. In this module, we can observe the data from the driver's side instead of the unit side. This will be useful because one driver can use several units. Choose the Drivers tab on the top panel. Let's create a new driver. First, type the driver's name. Try to choose unique names so it is easier to identify the driver in the list later on. We can add a picture of the driver for quick identification. Just click on the wheel icon and upload the image. To use automatic binding and unbinding of the driver on a unit, type the identification number of the employee in the code field. As a rule, this number is an RFID card, NFC, or iButton key number which will be received from the terminal when the driver starts his shift. It allows the owners of the vehicle fleets to collect data about driver schedules, the length of their rests, and ensure that standards are met. You can learn more about automatic binding in our next video. If you want to add comments about the driver, you can use the description field. This data will be displayed in the driver's tooltip. In the phone number field, you can type the driver's phone number. With this information, you can send the driver a short message from the monitoring interface. The driver may use this number to log in to the logistics application as well. The mobile key is a password which the driver may also use to log into the logistics app. If you are not using this application, leave this field empty. The exclusive option is a way of automatically unbinding the driver from the unit. When the driver has the exclusive option enabled, the other drivers who are bound to this unit will be unbound automatically. The custom fields were made so you can add any unique information, but unlike the description field here, you can type the information in two columns. So here you can add a license number, for example. Save the changes. Now you can find the created driver in the working area. In order to display the driver's location, activate the checkbox next to his name. I would like to remind you that the driver will show the coordinates of the unit for which he was bound. If the driver is a new one, like in our case, and he wasn't bound to any of the units, his position won't be displayed on the map. That's why I recommend marking the other driver. Click on his name, and the map will be centered according to his current position or where he was unbound from the unit. When you hover over the picture icon or the driver's name, you will see all of the added information about the element in the tooltip. The driver can be bound to the unit not only automatically with the help of the code as previously mentioned, but also manually. To do this, click on the first icon in the right part of the working area. Select the unit which is going to be bound and save the changes. At the binding icon, there is an icon for the unit to which the driver was bound. When you hover over this icon, you will see the information about the unit and the icon itself will change its appearance. Click on it once again to unbind the driver. The following icon is intended for manual bindings and viewing the history of bindings. For example, if the automatic binding didn't work, you may register the driver's shift manually. So, click on the register shift button, select the unit, and establish the beginning of the interval. Also, you can add the end of the shift if needed, but remember that you can only register past or current shifts, not future ones. To look through the history of bindings, establish the time interval and press the show button. And to delete the binding, click on the red cross to the left of the unit's name. You can edit the driver's properties and also delete the element from the list. Trailers in our monitoring system are any mechanisms attached to or driven by the main vehicle unit and not having their own trackers or controllers. Creating, setting, and working with trailers is essentially the same as with drivers, but there is a small difference. There are less fields in the trailer's properties. With the help of the Passengers module, you have an opportunity to monitor when the passenger entered and left the vehicle. For example, parents can control their children while they're going to school by the school bus. So, drivers and trailers can be bound to the unit either automatically or manually. 
and passengers can only be bound automatically using an RFID card or other device which is going to be attached to the card reader at the entrance. But as I previously mentioned, we will discuss automatic binding in another video. Unlike drivers or trailers, passengers have a special option of automatic unbinding. In the following field, you need to type in what time after binding the passenger should be unbound in case he forgot to attach his RFID to the card reader when he left the bus. Thank you for your attention. To learn more about the platform, please watch the other videos on our YouTube channel. Good luck.